hello everyone namaskar i hope you all are doing great today in this video we will discuss uh, about the pneumatic system of airbus a320 it will be a journal overview of the whole system if you want to watch uh, the, this system in detail i have made a separate video by the name of uh, pneumatic system f explained from fcom or fcom explanation or something right let's start uh, uh, we will start with the description of the system then we will talk about the engine bleed system how air is taken from the engines we will talk about its pressure regulation temperature regulation then further we will talk about apu bleed supply how apu supplies bleed to the system then further we will talk about cross bleed duct cross bleed valve then further we will talk about leak detection we will talk about loops we will talk about dmc failures right this is how we will uh, end our chapter in uh, i think 20 minutes max so uh, let's start with the pneumatic system journal overview of this qt uh, but before starting disclaimer i do not own any of the image and content used in this course all of it is just a reproduction of airbus manuals to serve the purpose of easy understanding right i have taken fr images from the google or uh, cbt's and the credit goes to the actual owners only right i request you to keep this video at 1.5 or 1.25 it will save your time and the second reason is uh, my rate of speech becomes very slow as the video progresses please let me know if you find any incorrect or inappropriate explanation i will correct myself definitely so pneumatic system pneumatic system is a system which supplies high pressure air to different systems like air conditioning system high pressure air for engine starting wing ntis water tank pressurization hydraulic pressurization you need pressurized air to pressurize those uh, hydraulic water tanks and uh, you know uh, air for wing ntis or engine starting right air is uh, taken from the engines or apu or from the hp ground cart so we have three main sources apu engine bleed system and hp ground connection if somebody asks you the priority then priority is given to the apu load compressor then second priority is to the engine bleed system and the third and last pri least priority is given to the hp ground connection right let's talk about the cross bleed duct so this cross bleed duct interconnects the engine bleed system this cross bleed duct interconnects the engine bleed systems and receives air from the apu right it receives air from the ground supply ground air supply and from the both side of engines right correct a valve mounted on the cross bleed duct called cross bleed valve it allows the left side and the right side to be interconnected right now we will talk about uh, the systems which are involved in pressurization sorry pneumatic which are uh, involved in the pneumatic these are two bmc's bmc stands for bleed monitoring computer as every other system of this airbus a320 has some computer to control and monitor this has bmc one and two we have uh, the overhead control panel and we have a ecamm page by the name of bleed page to control and monitor the operations of pneumatic system the all three are used to control and monitor the operation of pneumatic system right now a leak is detected uh, by the two loops or for the wings and for the pylons and apu there is one loop and uh, they detect any overheating in the vicinity of hot air ducts we will talk about it further in this video right now comes the engine bleed system how engines are used to take bleed and supply further in this we will talk about pressure temperature regulation we have covered general description now this aircraft has two similar 
engine bleed air system both are similar identical each system is designed to select its compressor stage between ip and hp of high pressure compressor both systems are capable enough to regulate bleed air pressure and bleed air temperature a bleed monitoring computer controls and monitors each system if one bmc fails another bmc takes over almost all of its monitoring functions the it is a uh, it is a point to remember most of its monitoring function not all we will i will tell you about uh, why it is written that uh, it takes over most of its monitoring function not all in uh, cross bleed or i think uh, in uh, yes leak detection now these bleed valves this is a schematic diagram we have hp or ip valves we have bleed valve over pressure valves all are very important but among of all these bleed valve is uh, most important valve this bleed valve is pneumatically operated and electrically controlled it is a pneumatic system so operation of this valve is pneumatic and the switches are electrically controlled that's why it is called pneumatically operated and electrically controlled by its associated bmc bmc1 for the left side and bmc2 for the right side correct now comes the pressure regulation how the pressure regulation takes place air is normally taken from the intermediate stage of high pressure compressor this is high pressure compressor and these are the intermediate stages ip stages air is taken from the intermediate stages to minimize the fuel penalty but at low engine speed when pressure and temperature of the intermediate pressure stages are too low the system bleed air from the hp stages of high pressure compressor and maintains a pressure of around 36 plus minus 4 psi so air is taken from the either from the hp stage of uh, high pressure compressor or ip stage and maintains a pressure of around 36 plus minus 4 psi now comes the pressure temperature regulation but before temperature regulation we have one more uh, valve after uh, ip and hp it is called bleed valve so bleed valve is downstream of hp or ip ducting and it acts as a pressure regulating valve and we also call it shut off valve it maintains a delivery pressure of around 45 plus minus 5 psi correct there is a over pressure valve also but we will not discuss everything uh, uh, in this video as i am trying to make it uh, very short you can check out uh, another video i, I am telling you uh, i was telling you about right now comes the temperature regulation this pre cooler is an air to air heat exchanger that uses cooling air from the engine fan to regulate the temperature so air is taken from the fan section of the engine and this air bleed which is which has been taken from hp or ip stages is cooled down to 200 degree celsius this is a digit to remember correct this was the function of pre cooler this is how pressure and temperature regulation takes place now uh, as i told you bleed valve is very important so there are uh, two types of closer there are two types uh, by which this valve can be closed number 1 electrically and number 2 the uh, number 2 pneumatically so the pneumatic closer of this uh, valve is whenever this valve senses reverse air flow generally air flow is from the hp ip stage to the bleed valve and then over pressure valve but if in case it senses reverse air flow 
then this bleed wall pneumatically closes this was the one condition now comes the electrical closure conditions so there are six or seven conditions by which this bleed wall closes automatically so number one when engine one is shut down or engine two is shut down their respective side of bleed wall will close number one number two if the starter has been engaged number three if apu bleed has been selected if you have selected apu bleed this will allow the apu bleed wall to open cross bleed wall to open and close the bleed walls of both engines right then comes the over pressure over temperature and if leak is detected over here over pressure over temperature and leak is detected over here then this bleed wall will closes electrically right if you have pressed this fire push button handle then also it will close the bleed wall and last if you have pressed engine one bleed push button on the overhead panel if you have pressed this engine one bleed push button or engine two bleed push button then it will close the bleed valve respective side okay this was all about uh, bleed valve and we have covered our uh, um, engine bleed system now comes the apu bleed air supply we will talk how apu supplies the bleed air to the systems which systems all systems we have discussed except wing ntis apu do not supply air for the wing ntis so this apu bleed push button on the air conditioning panel allows the bleed apu bleed wall to open when you push this push button and you select it on the apu bleed air supplies the pneumatic system if the apu speed is above 95 percent i have this image over here if you have pressed this apu bleed push button this will open the apu bleed valve it will open the cross bleed valve and closes the engine bleed walls and now the apu will supply bleed to all the systems so not wing ntis but uh, to uh, hydraulic reservoir pressurization for air conditioning and all other systems only and only if if the apu speed is above 95 percent correct this cross bleed wall automatically opens if that uh, knob is at auto this will be automatically opened if you have pressed apu bleed push button this cross bleed wall will open automatically to allow apu to supply bleed air to all the systems and it will allow the bleed walls to closes close automatically correct now we have discussed apu bleed system and cross bleed now comes the leak detection okay if leak is detected the leak detection warning comes by the respective bmc's correct if leak is detected in the left side or uh, apu the bmc1 generates a warning if a leak is detected to the right side means right engine and right wing then bmc2 generates a warning for engine pylon and apu we have a single loop and for the wings we have double loop so i have taken this picture to explain this system we have single loop for the engine pylon and apu and we have dual loops for the wings when the two wing loop detects a leak or when one loop detects a leak and other another one is inoperative 
they activate a wing leak signal we will talk about the bmc failures uh, after one or two minute but uh, uh, the point is there are two sensing uh, loop for the wings and there is one sensing loop for the both pylons and apu correct right now there comes the bmc failure now let's take an uh, example if bmc1 fails means now left hand side engine and apu and wing will be affected correct we are taking an example if uh, this bmc1 has failed as i told you there are two loops for the wings there is one loop for the engine and one loop for the apu now the respective side of engine leak detection is lost and if it is bmc1 then apu leak de detection is also lost because bmc1 is connected to the engine left engine wing and apu correct but even if bmc1 has failed left hand wing leak will be can be detected by the bmc2 because there are two loops out of them one is connected to bmc2 and another one is connected to bmc1 as i said there are two loops one is connected to bmc2 and another one is connected to bmc1 if bmc1 fails uh, there is no need to worry bmc2 will uh, generate a wing leak warning but this is not the case for engine pylon or apu because there are only one loop and which are connected to bmc1 that's why we were saying again and again that uh, in case of bmc failure most of its monitoring functions can be uh, taken care by the bmc2 but not all now we will take an example of bmc2 failure now let's say bmc2 fails leak detection of engine 2 has been lost but wing detection wing leak detection is not lost because there are two loops one loop was connected with bmc2 and another one was connected to bmc1 now wing leak can be detected by the bmc1 right this was all about the bmc failure if one bmc fails the adjacent bmc takes over monit over the monitoring of the bleed system to issue the following ecam warning for the over pressure over temperature and wing leak but engine bleed leak warning is lost for the associated engine and uh, if the bmc1 fails the apu bleed leak warning is lost correct now we have covered the whole pneumatic system uh it was i know it was not a detailed video but we have discussed almost everything uh, which is uh, important again if you want to watch uh, this system in detail you can refer to our fcom explanation and uh, if you want to have an idea of any other system of airbus a320 go and please check out our playlist thank you very much bye